Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see some of the exercise for creating the custom facts. So here, uh, let's you know create the playbook uh, where we can create the custom facts on the managed host, and then we will install you know the package on the managed host. So we will be doing everything from the Ansible control node. Okay, so uh, first I'm just going to check the inventory. So I have uh, three host, dev, test, and prod. So I'm going to uh, execute this in the test group, which is serverb.sg.com. So before I create the custom fact, let me just uh, make sure I don't have any facts already. So by running this, you will get all the facts on the test host, which is our B. So here you can find uh, the Ansible underscore local if there is any custom facts. Okay, here right now we do not have any custom facts set up on this host. So let me go ahead and create the custom facts. So for that, uh, I'll be you know using the um, a variable file that I can you know run it from the control node to you know install it on the managed node. Okay, so let me create a file called. Uh, custom dot fact so as you know uh, it has to be you know dot fact uh, format so i'm creating this from the ansible control node so i'm using general section you can name it anything and using the package httpd and service HTTP and state started enabled true. Okay, I'm just saving this file and uh, next I'll be creating the playbook to you know uh, install this on the managed host. So I'm creating setup facts.yaml. Okay, so I'm going to give the name install remote facts and I'll be running this in the test group and I'll be using the war. So the variable will be remote etc ansible facts dot so we need to create the custom facts under this path and the facts file that will be custom dot fact that we just created okay so first uh, we will create the remote directory on the managed host okay so we'll be using the file module And mention the state since it is directory, we'll be using the directory straight. And it will create the recursively other 
folders if it is not exist already like we use a uh, hyphen p in the command line and uh, specify the path so i'm going to use the variable that we declared remote underscore der Okay, so next uh, let's install this uh, custom file. On managed nodes. Okay, we'll be using copy module to copy the custom fact file that we have it already. Okay, here the source will be facts underscore file and destination that is the remote directory. Okay, so now let me go ahead and uh, execute this playbook so before that uh, we can uh, make sure there is no syntax problem in our playbook so for that we can use the syntax check command so you can use this syntax check command to see if there is any yaml or uh, any you know syntax issue on the playbook so we don't have any problem so now let me execute the playbook okay so it has uh, completed successfully now if you run the ansible setup add of command now you should be seeing the custom pack under the ansible local okay here you can see that uh, the custom pack that we created general you see all the facts here okay next uh, we are going to create a main playbook using that uh, we will be installing the you know packages and the services that we mentioned in the custom pack to get that installed on the managed node Okay, so as you know, we have mentioned uh, HTTP package. So let me just quickly log into the server B. And here you can check. HTTPD. Okay, looks like it is installed already. Okay, so server B is the one we are we just created the custom pack. So let me go ahead and uh, remove this HTTPD. okay so we have just removed the httpd so now let me create a playbook to install the httpd and uh, start the service
so you can give any name so i'm just giving uh, facts dot uh, facts underscore playbook okay here we'll install the required packages okay and uh, this will be running on test host so we'll put something like uh, install the apache web server and start the service okay so we'll be using the m module for installing the package and uh, name of the package here we will be using the local ansible custom facts ansible facts ansible local general and package okay and state it's going to be latest package and the next will start and enable the service so here we will use the service module and name so let me just copy the same line and here let's put service and uh, state similarly we can copy paste the same line mention state and to enable the service let's use the enabled okay now let me save the playbook okay so before running the playbook let me check ansible test system ctl status httpd so here you can see that uh, could not be found and now let me test the playbook okay so no syntax error now let me run the playbook okay looks like uh, we are getting some error for the service let me check the facts what we have declared
okay so we have given httpd actually the service name httpd so we just missed the t okay now let me save the custom fact and let me execute uh, the playbook again Okay, now let me execute the facts playbook. Okay, now the service has started. Now let me run the add off command to check the status. Okay, now we can see that the HTTP server is active. Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.